Back in the workshop, it's uh, Sunday morning. We've just uh, altered the clocks back for winter time, so it's going to be dark around about five o'clock. So we thought today, indoor day, get some jobs done. And the last job on the 880, apart from painting the bonnet, is the plow lamp. Now, this is the original one from 1960 whenever. And we're going to strip it down and uh, on the bench, strip it down and put it in the shot blaster. Shot blast it back and then get it in primer and then hopefully later on this afternoon, before it goes dark, we are gonna put all these bits that's in primer into red paint and then leave them for a couple of days to cure and go hard. And then we can start the rebuild again. So uh, I'm gonna strip this down, got some tools, I'm gonna strip it down and um, yeah, come along, see what we're doing. I'm going to get you in here so you can see what's happening inside this light. So uh, let's um, let's try and get into this. So I think it goes like that. Take that out. Which gets the front off. So we want the switch out, which is that one. Okay. Electrical screwdriver, where's that gone? Bob's put this one in, so it's a bit big for the job. But... the lens off. Ah, right, that's that. That comes off of there. Screws back on. That comes off of there. Screws back on. That's the wiring out. there for the bracket so that's that To undo that one, really, didn't we? Undo that, we'll take that off, and then we can get right in all the nooks and crannies with the uh, shot blaster. So that's one bit, two bit, the uh, springs in, that's one, clip, two clip, just get a flat blade screwdriver, hook it underneath and they're under a little lip just there, look, I don't know if you can see or not, so uh, that's three. Getting them out's easy, getting them back in's a little bit more tricky. He's got that one in upside down, I don't know how he's done that. Four. And on that one. Five. That'll come out. That comes out, and that just leaves the bezel ring then. Ready for shot blasting, although that's not too bad. That might just clean up. <laughs>
that, there we go. All the back's cleaned up, shot blasted. Not bothered about the inside because there's nothing wrong with that. I can just get a fresh coat of paint. So uh, we'll uh, clean the bezel up next. Quick update for you. Uh, Bob's been round and put all the wheel studs in. And he's put all the wheel nuts on the back as well. He's been round that. Um, back end wise, oh, not much room today. We've uh, painted the uh, pipes for the cables. We've restored the back lamps. And what else we done? Fitted the new clock. And Bob's been round and he's checked out. He thought there was a water leak. Well, there was a water leak on the radiator bleed key which is in there and we've drained drained the water out took the key out cleaned it up and it just wasn't seating right on the little brass uh, o-ring at the end so uh, we've sorted all that out yeah that's a quick update so things are in the paint shop now so uh, it is nearly ready for the top coat of all the bits and bobs they're down here we've been uh, messing about with those so we've got the uh, well, we've got the roll cage as well. We've uh, drilled the holes in there for the uh, light beacon. We've gone for the de detachable one. Got the light beacon bracket there. So that bolts on, and the light beacon slips in the top of there. So you can take it off if you need to go under any doorways. We've got the bottom of the roll cage here. The brackets that fit round the axle, big U bolts, the seat and uh, all the other bits and bobs drawbar these are the little light fittings we've refurbished we've salvaged the original ones because they're like 60 quid a pair to buy so we've re-salvaged those i've welded in there a couple of little tack welds because uh, that was a bit loose and wobbly so we've sorted that out oyster shell mud guards down there they're ready for top coat but these other bits are just having a coat of primer uh, under here, we've got all the link arms, stabiliser bars, draft adjustment, another stabiliser and the top link, they're all there ready to be painted. And on the top, we've got the new seat ready to be primed, big U-bolts, miscellaneous bolt, and, uh, and that's it. So uh, I'm going to mix some paint up in the old gun and uh, give these a quick coat of primer, let them go off and then they're ready for top coat. So, uh, stick around, it's coming up. And don't forget, if you haven't already uh, clicked the subscribe button and the like button, give us a thumbs up. Uh, please do that, it helps the channel out if you're enjoying watching the refurbishment of this uh, David Brown 880. And basically, everything else we get up to on the uh, farms over the days, you know. Give us a thumbs up, click subscribe and like, you might like it, you never know. Right, I'm going to get some paint and here we go.
yeah so we've got the back end painted uh they're all done now in the uh top coat two coats and they've been in here a couple of days curing so they're ready to take down now and then over here we've got the other little bits so i'm gonna get these moved and then we're gonna uh, have a tidy up and set up for the oyster shell mud guards the seat and the air cleaner attachment that's the next job down there just coming up